Jumbo! Shrimp. First, I'll show you my light. This is my light pen. I built it. I'm using a 9 volt battery. Which goes through my cool gator cord here. Uh, all the way to this light, this cord, which goes into my pen. Uh, empty pen tube with tape for a handle. And I have a Christmas light at the end. Uh, comes out of here into this cord which I then connect to here here's a demonstration my of my light pen there you go. just clip together and then you just hold it like this and we have an infrared light pen the shine coming from it is pretty much the infrared uh, there you go this right here is my setup. You can buy light pens in stores, but this one's really bright and works really good. Uh, it's best if you built it on your own, because then you can uh, change the brightness. This is on a 9 volt battery, so get something that runs on something like that, about that much power, or not more than that. More would be better, because it would be a brighter light, better for infrared. Hello. Okay, now that I showed you the uh, my light, we're going to go to the Twilight hack. So, load up Twilight Princess. This is something that I showed in my, one of my earlier videos. Uh, just go back and watch it in my account. Just loading Twilight hack, Twilight hack like normal. Nothing special. There you go. Okay. Uh, this is just my homebrew launcher. And the program right here. We whiteboard. And boom. Okay. The Wii Remote has a built-in infrared camera. That's how the Wii Remote is able to communicate with the TV. This right here is an infrared transmitter. So when the Wii Remote receives the, the IR into the Wii Remote, it is able to display the X and Y coordinates of your cursor on the screen. What this program does is, it uses the Wii Remote's camera to be pointing at the screen, and then whenever you have an infrared uh, signal on the TV screen, it takes that coordinate and draws a, a black pixel. In other words, whenever you drag an infrared light over this TV screen in front of this uh, infrared camera, you would be drawing on the TV. So first we're going to configure it with my, uh, first we're going to do a test. And this is my Wii Remote that I'm using for my infrared camera. So what you have to do is just aim the sensor of the TV, which I'm going to do right now. As you can see right here, uh, that's a black screen, that's, gonna be, that's the camera view of the, of the Wii Remote. Okay, that was the screen. Now that I have my uh, Wii Remote pointing at the TV screen, and I have my light all hooked up with my battery in my pocket, we're going to get this calibrated. So here's my pen light. As I point on the TV screen, there's uh, the different points right here. Here, that bl moving blue dot right there, which might be hard to see in the camera. No, you see it. Is, uh the infrared of the pen. That small one that's not moving is the one of the of the infrared transmitter up here. But we're going to turn that away so it doesn't screw up with the calibrations. So now we have this right here by itself. So now we're going to use our first three remote right here. Press A. Now we're on the main menu here. And A again. Now we're on the calibration screen. The calibration screen is so that we can calibrate it specifically for my small crappy TV screen here. Uh, so that when I point on here, it'll be able to accurately uh, match together. You have to always calibrate it because every single thing you shine this on, the camera, and the angles are always different. For calibration, there are four squares right here. It turns yellow on the one that you are 
calibrating currently. And blue, once it's calibrated, and it goes to here for the second one, here to the third, and here to the fourth. So, what you have to do is, you have to turn it, turn your infrared light on, the point that you want it on, then turn it off so it can calibrate, so it knows it's at that point. Point it over here, turn it on, then turn it off, and it's calibrated for that point, so on and so forth. So, because I have a very crappy uh, on and off switch, I have to press it on and off by tapping uh, my two cords together. So, point one, on, off, point two, on, off, point three, on, off. And that's going to be bright enough so that the infrared camera can pick it up. Point four, on, off. Okay. So now that we have our screen all calibrated, it's actually probably one of the best calibrations I've done with it. Turn on our light and draw. Draw something pretty, like a flower. Make a flower. I'll make a flower, Steve. That's an ugly flower. Okay. No, okay, just stop. Stop. Okay, that's a decent flower. Okay, it's a pretty good flower. And now I'm going to write my name on it, just to show some cool things I can do. Uh, I'll write hello. That's not your name. <laughs> wow. You wrote hell. I know, I blocked the info. Dude, our Catholic viewers are go. Okay, we're going to do another coloration, in case you guys missed the previous one. So, I'll do a smiley face. Nice and easy. There we go. Let's give him a body now. There you go. Happy Fred. You wrote hell. I know, I blocked the info. Dude, our Catholic viewers. Can you are shut the frick up!